right here in the middle of this neighborhood in Spanish Fort, Alabama, is Fort McDermott. It's the highest point along two miles of Confederate battle, battle lines extending east and north. Here, 200 soldiers from Georgia, Louisiana, and Arkansas held off a numerically superior Union force for 13 days and nights in the last battle of the Civil War in 1865. This is literally in the middle of a neighborhood. I had park my car on the side of the road here. But this is just quite interesting. There is information placards that tell you about the bell that was fought here and where things were at as I climb this hill. Pretty interesting to me that this is literally in the middle of a neighborhood. I'm surprised the state government allowed these neighborhoods to be built this close to this fort, this historic fort. This is where the last battle of the Civil War was fought. And we're in the middle of a neighborhood. I mean, there's a high point. Okay. The Confederates had an advantage. That's why they could fend off the lar larger amount of troops. Because they're on a high point, which gave them a better shooting advantage. And they could also see when the Union forces were coming to get them. And this hill has stairs to climb, which is... Would you look at this? We're literally in the middle of a neighborhood. There's a house right there. There's a house right there. But from here to the ground level of the road, I'm looking straight out. And you can just barely see the cars going by. This is quite interesting to me. A piece of Civil War history is slap in the middle of such a populated area. I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but I'm staying on this hill. There's a dip in the ground and another hill. That was rifle pits. That's where the um, trench warfare, if you will, happened. Now you can see right here on this sign, kind of what I'm referring to. There's that pit, and there is where they would have cannons and guns and riflemen and that sort of thing. They have bomb-proof headquarters. Pretty interesting. I'm gonna go around here to the other side, and you can actually see the river. That was part of the way the Union forces got in here. Now, I'm speculating the reason why this is the last place or the last battle of the Civil War was, you gotta think how far south we are. We're the very, very southernmost point of Alabama. So the war probably stopped days, if not weeks, prior to this battle. But since news traveled so slowly back then, nobody knew the Civil War had ended and the troops down here were still fighting. As I go around this side of the trail, you can see in front of me someone's house. There's a big two-story house there. It's just interesting that right here in these people's backyard is old Civil War fort. And back off in the distance there, right out there, 
is the Tennessee River or the Mobile Bay out there. Very interesting and unique. The signif historical significance is pretty interesting too with the last battle and all that good stuff. Sorry for the glare. Pretty interesting here. I wonder how many people that live in this town or surrounding areas even knows this is here. You probably pass by that sign at the road every day. You don't even think twice about it. So this area here was the magazine. This is where they stored the ammunition and provisions and stuff, kind of like a warehouse, I guess you will. And you look right there, there's, there's somebody's house. It's just, usually you think Civil War forts. You don't think about being in the middle of somebody's neighborhood. But that's how it ended up here. Pretty interesting. Wish the uh, state or federal government could have kind of halted the neighborhoods being built around it, but you can't win them all. Looks like they got like a fire pit here. I don't want you to have a fire pit. You can't stay here at night. But just a quick look at the Fort McDermott. Well, what's left of the Fort McDermott? Here in Spanish Fort, Alabama. If you're ever in the area, it's probably a half mile north of I-10 once you cross the Bayway. If you want to come take a look at a piece of interesting American history, here's where you can go to. Anyways, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you next time.